Here I want to explain the crisscross method for finding the formula of an ionic compound using two ions. First one that I'm going to do, I'll take a calcium ion plus two. Calcium is an alkaline earth metal. It's always going to form a plus two ion because it has two electrons to lose to get a noble gas configuration. And I'm going to uh, bond that to a chloride ion. Now chlorine is a halogen. It has one electron to gain to a noble gas configuration, so it's always going to be a minus ion. Minus ion, if you remember, is an anion. A positive ion is called a cation. Okay? Well, how this crisscross method works is you take the, the amount of the charge on the cation and move that two down to there. And the amount of the charge of the anion, which happens to be one, and move it to there. The compound then becomes CaCl2. Now that's a neutral compound. There's no charges represented and um, it's the way it should be. To name this compound, we name it based on its ions. So it's calcium chloride. When you name ionic compounds, the name doesn't have any um, reference to what the relative number of atoms are going to be. So that's part of the trick. You have to be able to go backwards and forwards. Here's another one. Uh, let's say I'm going to make a compound this time out of calcium and oxygen. All right. Now in this case, the crisscross tells me, okay, move the two down to there, move this two back over there. I now end up with a compound that looks like this. Ca Two, O2. Now ionic compounds are always written in what's referred to as an empirical form where they're written in their simplest whole number ratios. This two and that two cancel each other out and the compound becomes CaO. So that's the proper form for a compound between calcium and oxygen. The name of this would be calcium oxide. And again, the name itself doesn't tell me the relative number of oxygens or chlorides. All it does is say that that's calcium oxide because you're supposed to know how they go together. Now the rationale for all this going on, maybe you've picked up, calcium in forming a plus two ion has two electrons to give up. Oxygen minus two has two electrons to take. So it's a perfect switch. Whereas in my first example, this calcium had two electrons to give up, but chlorine could only take one electron. So I remedied that whole fact by saying, okay, let's have two of those. And in essence, that's what we did. We had calcium chloride, which needs two electrons, or two chlorines to work.